shown, another way to geocache is by boat. We only found a couple um, going down there. We went down the Grand River. Um, so we have, but I have a little haul of swag here to show. There's the porcelain Christmas statue and the little three rings, three little metal rings that you get in like a quarter machine. We also have found an army guy. They're always fun. Three more rings. These are the rubber band rings. Like you see the rubber band bracelets. There's a little perfume shaped one. A money sign shaped one. And a lipstick shaped one. I also found a keychain. My favorite color. My daughter also found these. A headband. Which we could either wash or put it in another treasure. You can find these most commonly. These are just the regular bead necklaces. Kind of fun for dress up time. We also found a surprise treasure. This one is a travel book. Um, this one is a wooden maraca. Doesn't shake though. And it's called Shake Your Booty. And I will put the description in, or the uh, code for that in the description. But that also was an inspiration for a new, grab it here, a new Cashkin, which you have seen in previous videos. Instead of shotguns, there's Cashkins. Um, travel bug. Isn't that cute? We'll probably call it Tiki the Travel Bug. I'll send that out. I'll send some caches pretty soon. Well, I'm here at um, one of our uh, geohides just checking on some maintenance. I did bring an extra container in case I had to replace it. This is a three star terrain, I believe I marked it as. Some have asked to up it to four. It is a steep hill, as I will show you. As you can see, it's a steep hill coming up to the cache. And a lot of people would think, come up a little ways and try to find it in there. And it was not working. They would try to replace it in there because they didn't want to go back up to replace the cache. So therefore, I kind of tethered it in here. Since the jewelry cord here, nice thick some wire. I just got done filling it up with some more swag to the top and checked on the log. Still dry. Kind of stays dry nice in here. But if they think they want to hit the easy way of a three star terrain, if you look, it's a steep slope going up to it, but even coming down to it too. We went halfway up, halfway down. Make it in a little adventure. I have a couple more after the maintenance that I just showed you. A little keychain. I added some paracord there. And I'll probably put that in another cache or replace it back in my maintenance cache. Everything was nice and dry. And there was also a cute little alien. I figured my daughter would like that. And I replaced it all by jam packing the caches full. We also went near a bowling alley, and <laughs> I wish I had a trash bag to do the trash out cash in method, but I forgot to grab one. It was very trashed in the area, and it was just a tiny little um, 
geocache, but I did, when looking for it, I did find a skew little marble. It wasn't in the cache, but it was amongst the trash. I figure reuse instead of recycle, and we'll do that. But I also have a opening, an un well, an unboxing. Um, had a couple dollars in my PayPal, so I went to Oriental Tradings had a free shipping day. So I got some a clearance bag of 500 of these cross beads, which I can make into necklaces or leave them as is and put them in some of the smaller caches. There's different designs, like targets and squiggly lines. But that'd be nice to load into a cache as well. It's just little foam beads. But yeah, that's the haul for this week, and hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.